What's going on, everybody? <laughs> it's your boy, Eric Taylor, Taylor to Coaching. <sighs> I wanted to do this video earlier, but it gets done when it gets done. Recording on the 9th. This is another transit video, right? Taylor to Coaching, Big 3 Australia G for the new moon in Aries. This Aries new moon, uh, hmm. we're talking <clears throat> 22 degrees, a master number. And um, 7.31 p.m. Pacific, 10.31 p.m. on April 11th on the East Coast. And uh, I guess in England, Universal Time, it'll be on April 12th. And the uh, Eastern Hemisphere, Asia, Africa, right? It'll be um, three, I think it's 3.31 a.m. All right. But that 22 degrees is universal for everyone and even deeper with the Mars energy, right? What is Aries? Um, it's the new year, astrological, but the real <laughs> global new year, especially for the Western Hemisphere. But um, it is a cardinal fire sign initiating, right? Beginning spring. Mars, Aries, assertive, aggressive, pioneering, leadership, outgoing, adventurous, right? It's uh, assertive, aggressive, impulsive. It's a dynamic, man. It's the childlike energy, discovering new things, touching everything, exploring the baby. So, you know, when you think about um, 22 degrees, and let me just reset because there's so much power with this new moon because it's the first new moon of the year and of the season. Happy New Year. Happy New Moon. And what's great, the sun and the moon are at 22 degrees. You have Venus around 26 degrees, Mercury with 14 or 16. But all of these planets along with Aries and Chiron, all in Aries. Right? So if you're a Libra ascendant, it's in your seventh house. Scorpio ascendant, your sixth house. And so on and so on. Aries ascendant, this is your first house, right? Really deep energy. Like always, subscribe down below. Hit me up at taylor2coaching at gmail.com. But this is um, this is a great time. We're feeling alive again. We're feeling like we can move and communicate and, and meet people and be outside and go on adventures and hiking and swimming and rock climbing and flying and, you know, just moving. That's that Aries Mars energy. But you know, when this full moon is happening, Scorpio is the ascendant at zero degrees. That's no accident. That is Mars to Mars. And then the next full moon is the Scorpio full moon in Taurus season. That's divine energy. God doesn't make no mistakes. And what this energy is basically just, I mean, that's so deep to me. You know, we still have, uh, you know, Neptune and Pisces, Pluto and Capricorn. The sextile of Jupiter, you have Saturn, but Jupiter and Saturn, but the Jupiter sextile um, and the Mars and Gemini sextile, 23 degrees Jupiter, I think it's about 26 degrees, the sextile during this full moon. So four degrees off. Um, this is an energy where you guys have got to take some time out for self, 
but understand it's time. And, and this energy is quick moving, just like Aries, right? Aries is, I mean, Mercury is flashing through Aries. Venus is, shoo, you know, the moon is going to go in two and a half days, boom. So, I mean, and these are the cycles, right? But, I mean, this is going to be some intense um, sparks where you really should be tapping in as the sun is setting on me, tapping in on um, really wanting to put down these 22 degrees, master number, right? Also four foundations of new beginnings, new you, new freedom new thoughts, new ideas, new creations, new exploration, new self-love. Aries is the physical body, it's the head, the crown chakra. Like, what, what have you been going through? And what are you putting down? What, what cement are you pouring, right? To get ready for tourist season and this new Scorpio full moon. With the Scorpio ascendant during this Aries new moon at 22 degrees. Mars energy is not, it's not for joke. It cuts, it divides, it's the soldier, the warrior, the fighter. And Mars in Gemini, in Gemini, like that years ago. Mars in Gemini is definitely, you know. I know you like the shirt, big pop, poor, poor. <laughs> and I want to shout out a rest in peace to DMX. God bless his soul, his family. We salute you, brother. <laughs> Where my dog's at? Ah! Yeah. Every once in a while, when hip hop's getting a little off stray, or, you know, this like mumbo trap crap or commercial rap, there's always like someone who's sent to kind of bring back that like mantra of what it means to spit bars, to battle, to lyrically joust, to Mars and Gemini. That was DMX, man. That was DMX, so, you know. New York MC to New York MC, I miss you, brother. God bless you. I know you went through so much. He was just a couple months younger than me. He looked crazy old, though, but he, he brother been through a lot. But, um, yeah, man, X, X going to give it to you. Man, just sad. Rest in power. And thank you. Thank you for that versus with Snoop. Thank you for all your joints, you know? Even for the people that don't know you or didn't understand your light, your process, your, your grind, your, your, your energy, or didn't even like all your joints, it don't matter. You, you came and you, 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 you dropped it, you know? You bodied it, brother. But um, that's what this is, right? It's where my dog's at, you know? It's this energy like Mars, Scorpio ascendant, Aries sun, moon, Mercury and Venus. I mean this. Go get it. Go be immortal. Speaking of which, to drop some jewels on you. So you know that Capricorn energy still, Pluto and Capricorn is still transforming, still purging at 26 degrees in like 55 minutes. So when it gets to 27 degrees, that's the, you know, the, the, the return for America. A rebirth, a new beginning. So all of this is initiating where we're headed 
with the Jupiter, you know, the great conjunction, December 21st, and the Jupiter, Saturn, and Aquarius. There are no accidents up, up above or down below. I know that the energy can be impulsive and sometimes immature and childlike. Aries, you've got to, I love you daily. My father was Aries, you know, you watch my channel, you hear me talk about it all the time. I got dear friends of the Aries, but you have got to learn to pause and be introspective so you can be on the highest vibration of Mars and of Aries to be um, pioneering, to be the dynamic leader, to be, you know, starting your own shoe shining business at 16. So then you can move from Tampa to, to, to Tampa, Florida to Harlem and make it happen. Even when you came from humble, poor beginnings in your family. That's what my father did. Self-made man. Aries gives us that spark. So the Aries in Mercury, it's the hands, it's the speech, it's the learning, it's the communication. Go study something, go explore, go share your thoughts. Aries in Venus, right? Go be creative, go share what you create. Go make money, start the business, start the plan. And if you're gonna do this, do it on April 13th and 14th, after the new moon energy, they call it that immortal energy, which is why they, I think that's why they really set the tax date, April 15th, to take the energy from the real new year, the Aries new moon. There are no accidents. So manifest and create what you want to create and share it, release it, April 13th and 14th. Be grateful, have gratitude for breath and life and being able to move again and and and, and find find that uh that not just the inner warrior. And these are new beginnings, so really we gotta tap in. You know, I was doing the Neptune and Aries video the other day, and I hope you guys watched that and liked that, but it's about being spiritual warriors. These are real times, it's not for joke. <laughs> I hope you all are, are, are trying to vibrate high and and pay attention. Don't get caught up in the flim flam and the flash and, um, you know, all that stuff. I had to get some new kicks today for my feet. And you know, I see people, you know, and I'm not judging or hating, but I see people waiting on a line for Louis Vuitton just to get in. And in my head, I'm like, I'm just glad that's not me. It never was, even when I was young, in my teens or my 20s. But if it is you, just know that there's more than just labels and name brands and that you are worth anything and everything from royalty. You are royalty without the so-called labels of Louis Vuitton or the prince of this or the queen of that in different places and countries. You know, it's all, it's, it's habernashy. You have got to wake up and claim who you are. And, and, and it's not by doing it by yelling, arguing, fighting, cutting. Right? Mars is the soldier, the warrior, the fighter, blood, surgery, cutting, dividing. You know, this is a, a deep dance of ego and, and really the tapping into the, the divine and the spiritual. Aries is exalted in the sun, the great I am. With this master number, you have got to really master thyself, which is being able to know the divine energy 
to feel it, to bathe in it, to become it, to hear it, right? Through your root chakra, right? To tap into the Black Moon Lilith and Taurus right now, to stay grounded from the ram to the bull. You gotta listen to your root chakra and meditate and pray and, and, and turn off the noise. Ask yourself the tough questions. Who are you? Where you're going? What's your mission? What's your purpose? Who do you love? Why do you love? How can you be better? Love yourself better? Because when you're just caught in ego and Louis Vuitton and this and, and, and flossing and this and that and for the gram and this and that, you're... you're on low vibration in the sense that you are consuming for instant gratification of the ego to impress others. That's a very, not cardinal, but carnal energy. Every time you feel a little bit hunger, do you just run to the kitchen and stuff your dumb face? Every time you feel a little itch, do you just scratch it and, uh, you know, not, not think about your building up your kundalini energy? Do you just spill at will? <laughs> not just for the men, women too. You know, sometimes like we have to understand not just our chi, but our, even our, our sexual power and potency. You know, you think about Aries because Aries is like, <gasps> you know, it, it, sometimes it's too eager. Like sometimes you got to be like, let it breathe a second. Right? And that's why this Scorpio ascendant at zero degrees. Oh, this is, y'all don't even understand. It's so deep because it's transformation and power. And it's saying to this sun, moon, Mercury, and Venus in your sixth house, of Virgo, but it's Aries, right? For the Scorpio ascendant, for this new moon. Daily routine, work, health, hygiene, sickness, illnesses, plans. Get your mind and psychology right. Learn to self-love, to fight the good fight. Scorpio is telling you to get psychologically ready to harness your Mars energy for merging, for transformation, to handle trauma and crises, to be the leader, the boss, the good coworker, to be able to see through the ego, the masks, the deception, the lies. To take that Jupiter and Aquarius sextile energy that's poking you and telling you, initiate self-love. Initiate creativity. Initiate positive breath, feelings, emotions, move, exercise. The moon is like your physical, you know what I mean? It, we say the sun is the soul, but the sun is really like your your spirit, right? Pluto's like the soul psyche. The moon is like your physical energy, your, your, your breath, your real soul. And it's all born again. It's all new. So Jupiter's saying, move in your beliefs. Move in your philosophies. Move in your highest self. Move in your wisdom to gain the higher knowledge. Forget college. I'm trying to kick knowledge. And I'm not saying don't go to school. I got my degree but I have multiple degrees 
because I've studied the seven seas, the trees, all the fake MCs and wannabes and policies and ABCs and anthropology and the streets of NYC and society so I can share the wisdom and philosophies with thee. Yes, I am the E. Everyone has Aries in their chart. Whether it's your first house. Scorpio ascended, I told you the six. Sag ascended the fifth. Capricorn ascended the fourth. Aquarius ascended the third. Pisces ascended the second. Aries the first. Taurus the twelfth. Gemini the eleventh. And if you don't know, ask. All this has different meanings. I'm not sitting here breaking down the twelve. Because to me, I just want you to kind of focus in on the energy. And you initiate through Aries and Venus and Mercury. You become the seeker of the knowledge. You got work to do. What you doing? Get on your, get on your J-O-B. Get on your game. And you don't really want a J-O-B because that's just, just over broke, right? People talk about, you know, oh, woke this, and cancel culture and this and that and divide that. Listen, man, don't get caught up in the Twitter sphere and all this division and silliness. It's distractions. Keep your eye on the prize. Throw something out, the 13th and 14th. Get mentally right, the 11th. Create the 13th and 14th. Invest. Do your, your uh, stock market. Do your mutual funds. Do your crypto. Your Bitcoin. Your Litecoin. Your Rithium. Your NFTs. Whatever you want to do, use that immortal energy. Use, you know, and I'm not saying to go crazy. Don't lose your shirt, your house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You got seven kids, feed your family, you know what I'm saying? But even if you got to invest or drop $25, man, it might blossom and grow. You got Robin Hood, you got acorns, you got opportunities. The energy's moving quick, though, so don't waste time. Make it happen. You make it happen. That's what Aries Mars. You get it done. You make it happen. You initiate it. You pioneer it. You lead it. And don't waste your time with negative people. If you're building with somebody and they're not trying to support you and uplift you and cheer you on, then stop hanging with them. Stop building with them. Not everybody is vibrating how you're vibrating. Two things. You don't want to be the richest person in the room, and you don't want to be the smartest person in the room. If that's the case, you're in the wrong room. It's okay if you got three or four people on your level or one or two ahead, but if, if you're standing there and you're number one and nobody's even close or all, no. You're in the wrong crowd, wrong room. And I'm not saying to hate on people. I'm not saying that. You can bring them with you to another room. Help elevate them. But if 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 they're not on your vibe and giving you that, that feedback and that support and love and people are, are telling you, you know, living in fear, telling you, oh, don't do this. and Oh, don't move left and don't go right and don't go up and oh, watch out for triangles. <laughs> like, nah, 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 nah. You, you, you've got to understand. See, the sun is setting. You got to have a plan, Aries. 
This Aries new moon, 22 degrees. Ooh. Mm. You know, I'm gonna drop some stuff. I might finally go live on YouTube, you know? I really need to do it and I'm sorry I haven't. Your boy is busy, man. Taking care of Mom Duke. She's home from the hospital, you know, but she's dealing with a lot. Got my four sons. Got my wife. I have coaching. I got charts. I, I, you know, I'm grinding. I'm manifesting. I'm moving. I'm never still. You got to reach out to me because I, I, I want you not just to get this energy but I want to make sure you're, you're, you're moving right. I'm not here to preach, but I'm here to inspire and uplift, and share the gift. Don't spend time with people that, that, that don't want to exchange thoughts and ideas and, and you know help you. When Mars and Gemini on its positive energy is about you know, it can be debate, but it can be the exchange of supporting and moving together and teamwork and making things happen. You know, that's, that's, that's inspiring. Dropping jewels, sharing, exchanging information and, and, and supporting one another. And with this energy, if you really tap in with the Scorpio Ascendant, and I know it might not be what you have for your birth chart. I wish you did, because it is it's a gift and a curse. It's not easy. You're gonna go, you you a Scorpio rising, you go through some tough times. Same with Scorpio Pluto, you know. But you see through the secrets and the lies. And so this is a very divine, very deep spiritual no moon and energy. Because if you, you tap in, you can have some of that and start to see things with new, new lenses, new glasses. Remember, your eyes lie to you. You got to see with your third eye. You got to see with your root chakra, your intuition. That's how God is speaking to you. When you do that, man, oh, you women, you men, you young ladies, you young men, you old men, you old women, it's never too time, to, never too late to wake up. I don't care if you're watching this and you're 70. I don't care if you're watching this and you're 11, 15, 23, 22, 42, 50, 48, 51, 63. Any of those numbers, you need to listen to the E. I got love for you. I'm not perfect. I'm surely never going to steer you wrong intentionally. But I will tell you, take care of your health. Drink your water. Have your fruits and your vegetables. Don't OD on sugar. It's like a drug. It's not good. I don't want to get too much into health and you know youtube try to say oh you know whatever whatever i'm not a medical doctor i just stayed in a holiday inn <laughs> and the concierge said i had a dope grin <laughs> but um yeah just make sure you, you you really manifest so you can win 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 but hit your boy up join my patreon i right? tailor to you coaching at patreon.com Subscribe at Taylor2C on Twitter. Follow me there at Big Three Astrology, the Instagram, Facebook groups, Taylor to You Coaching, the number two, the letter U, right? It's like complete things, like E complete, my MC name. Everything has harmony and rhythm, man. I know what I'm doing. I'm nice with mine. Make sure you get on your your mission. Yeah, see?
think about it. Hopefully you can hear that in the recording. Some sirens. All right. So, be your best. Love others, love yourself. And um, it's time. This Aries new moon, it is time. Set down your foundation. Be inspired. Be alive. Be free. Be creative. And take this Mars energy for positive. For loving yourself. For connecting, communicating, learning, studying, researching, healing. Of Aries are good medical doctors or healers. Tap into this childlike, explorative, adventurous, curious, maverick, thirsty for life energy. My father was up four o'clock a.m. every morning out the door working. You got one life to live. How do you want to dance? <laughs> Taylor made, yo. How do you want to dance? Aries New Moon, all of you. I got nothing but love for you. Hit me up at Taylor2Coaching at gmail.com. Get your birth chart done. And just understand that this energy is so potent and important to create the new you fill in the blank. Do it. Be it. Become it. You are it. Aries the Ram. Forget the flim flam. Show the world who you am. Exalted in the sun. Creativity. Power. Vitality. Expression. Authority. Go get it. Aries new moon. I got love for you. Eric Taylor. Taylor to your coaching. Enjoy. God bless. Be your best. You can do it. You can do it. Be immortal. Peace.